My name is Yalini Amitanesan. Um, I work for military communications. Communications is basically vital to the success of defence missions. Our team looks at developing algorithms that create strong networks for the tactical environment, that is environments where there are UAVs, where there are tanks, where there are soldiers, and we're looking at making sure their communication network doesn't go down. Here we have a network set up. Um, we've got three nodes out, out in, uh, deployed out in the field. Um, and we're running our distributed uh, artificial intelligence network um, algorithms. And what we're going to do now is um, we've switched on another node and the algorithm is going to determine um, a suitable location to improve the structure of this network to make it more survivable. Um, you can see now that the, the uh, network autonomous vehicle is moving um, to the location that the algorithm has come up with um, that will most uh, improve this network. And that, that's the position right there. So you can see now that it has um, formed a stronger link between the, the existing three nodes um, to, to make this network much more um, robust to any potential attacks or, um, or degradation of services. In the future, our work in the Opal project um, will move more into the direction of using larger scale uh, UAVs with the idea of uh, working in, in areas such as mountainous terrain and hilly, hilly areas where there might be groups of soldiers disconnected by the hill and the UAV can, can be positioned by the autonomous algorithm to reconnect those groups of soldiers and uh, pr provide links back to headquarters, um, for example. I enjoy working at DSTO um, because it, we, we, get, we get to work with the cutting edge technology. Um, there's, there's always new things to do all the time. Um, we're always looking at, at novel ideas. Um, and you get to work with some of the, the, the most gifted people in the country on, on these problems. Um, and also, you get the sense of that you're, you're making a difference to the defence of Australia.